Now let's look at the next join algorithm. This join algorithm is called as block nested loop join. Okay, block nested loop join. In the previous join algorithm, nested loop join, we were relating every tuple of R to every tuple of S. In this particular algorithm called block nested loop join, we relate a tuple of or rather a block of R with a block of S. Okay. So, what was my algorithm in the previous nested loop join? It was this, okay? So, here my algorithm is, what I do is, for every block, Let's suppose B R in R and then for every block B S in S I do the same thing. Okay. I have the this over here. Okay. So in each block of R and each block of S, I am going to compare my tuples. So what exactly is happening is, let's suppose this is my R block, okay. For that matter, I'll make the block smaller. This is my R block. And let's suppose this is my S block. Okay. Okay, I'm just assuming that there are only two blocks. So what I do over here is, assuming first initially I have these two blocks in my main memory. Okay. So what I do is, I compare the first record in R to first record in S. Then I compare the first record in R with second record in S, third record in S, fourth record in S and so on up to the last record in the first block of S. Now what we do is something different from what we used to do in earlier algorithm. In earlier algorithm, we used to remove the first block from the main memory and we would use to get the second block, right? But in this, we do not do this. What we do is, we now take the next block in R and we compare it with every tuple. We take the next tuple in R and compare it with every tuple in S, okay? And we do this for every tuple in R. Okay, right? So in this way, once I am finished with the first block of S, I do not need to bring it back again. Okay, so that is the concept of my block nested loop join. This is my R, this is my S. After the first block of S is entirely being compared, then I move on to the next block. Okay? So that is the concept over here. I have to bring back this first block when, when I move on to the next block of R. In that case, I would have to bring it back again. But in my previous algorithm, I had to bring back my S block for every relation in R or rather for every tuple in R, right? So, let's quickly do a rendering of what would happen in this algorithm. Okay.